Hey guys, we're here with another crypto video. Um, gaya ng promise ko nung sa mga nakaraan nating video, ngayon pag-uusapan naman natin what is staking, how staking works, saan kayo pwede mag-stake, and Cardano versus Ethereum 2.0 staking mechanism. Okay? But before we start, I want to I want to thank everyone who watched all my previous videos and those who subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. And a big shout out to my old boss for lending me a new microphone. So, kung mapapansin nyo, medyo iba yung tunog natin ngayon. Medyo mas okay na siya kumpara dun sa dati. So, yun. Tama na ang intro. Let's get into the video. Okay, so... What is staking? Gaya ng sabi ko nung nakaraan, staking is a consensus mechanism of proof-of-stake blockchain, proof-of-stake network. Okay? Kumpara sa mining, which is the consensus mechanism of proof-of-work blockchain like Bitcoin, uh, ang pinagkakaiwa nila is the way of producing new coins sa proof-of-stake network or sa proof-of-stake blockchain is ang pagde-delegate nyo ng existing coins that will serve as a validator sa blockchain. Okay? Kapag, kapag nakapag-validate na kayo, kapag nakapag-create kayo ng new block, yung block na makikreate, i-add sa existing blockchain, and in return, you guys will get a reward. So, that's basically what is taking is. So, sign up and Dito ngayon sa Coinbase website. Pwede nyo naman itong puntahan. I'll link it down below. Uh, staking is the process of actively participating in transaction validation similar to mining on a proof-of-stake blockchain. On this blockchain, anyone with a minimum required balance of a specific cryptocurrency can validate transaction and earn staking rewards. Okay? So sabi dyan, merong minimum required balance. For example, sa Cardano, if you guys want to stake your ADA coins, the minimum um, is 10 ADA. Okay? Sa Ethereum 2.0 naman, right now, Ethereum is still um, in proof-of-work blockchain, in proof-of-work network. Meaning, their new coins is still being generated through mining. Okay? But, since Ethereum has a lot of problems, napakataas ng gas fees niya, and most of the DeFi applications are built within uh, Ethereum network, so ang problema sa mga users is for them to be able to move their coins from one place to another, from one exchange, from one wallet to another, they have to pay the gas fees in Ethereum in those ERC20 coins. Okay? So they are trying to solve that problem by switching their consensus mechanism from proof of work to proof of stake. That's the Ethereum 2.0 or the EIP-1559. Um, right, yung phase 1 noon or phase 2, it will be launched somewhere around June and then they will roll it out somewhere this year. Hindi ko lang sure yung exact date, but you guys can search it. Anyway, going back, so Ethereum 2.0, the minimum that you guys can stake is 32 ETH. And the downside, lock yon. Kapag nag-stake kayo sa Ethereum 2.0 ng 32 ETH, nakalock na yon at Hindi pa sure, wala pang exact date kung kailan nyo pwedeng kunin yung pera na in nyo at kung kailan kayo pwedeng makakuha ng rewards. So, that's one of the difference between Cardano and Ethereum 2.0 staking. Okay? So, how does staking works? Balik tayo rito. When the minimum balance is met, a node deposit that amount of cryptocurrency into the network as a stake, similar to a security deposit. The size of a stake is directly proportional to the chances of that node being chosen to forge the next block. If the node successfully creates a block, the validator receives a reward similar to how miner is rewarded in proof of work chains. Okay? So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, dapat merong uh, minimum required balance. And then, yung minimum required balance na yon is lalagay nyo siya sa stake pool, parang security deposit, sabi nga dyan. Okay? And then, yung coins na ilalagay nyo doon, gagamitin siya as a node, as a validator. Okay? Kapag nagbabalidate ng transaction, again, the network will decide if the transaction is valid or not. Kapag valid, 
i-accept siya ng network, magkikreate ng block, idudugtong yung block dun sa existing blockchain, in return you will get a reward. Okay? So the reward for staking is called APY or annual percentage yield. So yan, here. Okay? Annual percentage yield means a percentage rate reflecting the total amount of staking rewards projected to be earned over an annual period based on the then current rewards rate compounding at set intervals for a 365-day period. Okay? So sa isang taon, merong reward rate. And then yung reward rate na yun is uh, divided to all the delegators, to all the validators, to all the stake pool operators. Okay, doon hinahati-hati yun. Usually, nag-range ang um, APY between 4 to 7%, depende sa kung anong coins. Sa cake, sa pancake swap, pagka nag-stake ka ng cake mo, their APR is around 130 plus percent. Okay? And then, meron tayong tinatawag na lock staking, and then meron ding hindi lock na staking. Cardano is not lock staking. You guys can move your Cardano coins anytime you want, hindi yung lock you guys have complete control of your coins. Unlike sa Ethereum, sabi ko nga kanina, nakalock yun. Okay? So now that we know what staking is and how it works and how the annual percentage yield is calculated, punta naman tayo kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-start ng staking. Okay? So dun tayo sa pinaka-usual, I know you guys are mostly on Binance. Okay? So on Binance, you, can, you guys can start staking. Paano kayo makakapunta rito? After logging in to your Binance account, you guys go to Wallet. And then you go to Earn. Okay? Pagka-click nyo nung Earn, you guys go to Binance Staking Products. Pagka-punta nyo dito, ito lahat yung currently uh, staking products na meron sila. Again, this is lock. Okay? The duration, the ETY and yung minimum locked amount and then you guys can stake now also dito sa binance merong um slot na pwedeng pumasok sa staking kapag naubos na yung slot na yon hindi na kayo makakapag stake so right now um i suggest that you guys try sol solana that's a good project as well as matic uh dot definitely that's also one of ethereum competitor kaya lang sold out na siya kasi nga gandang project siya Definitely, Ada, ang downside sa Binance kasi ang taas ng kanilang minimum lock amount. Okay, and there, the APY is relatively slow compared sa official uh, sa official wallet ng Cardano. Okay, you guys can also do EOS, Atom, Dodo, this is a new one. Algo is also a good project. SEM is also a good project. Okay, uh, so you guys make sure you do your own research before you stake your coins. Okay? So, mamimigli kayo ng duration, 30, 15 days, 30 days, 60, or 90. Okay? After nun, pagka na-stake nyo, tsaka nyo makukuha yung rewards nyo after ng duration na pinili nyo. Okay? After getting the rewards, you guys can move it to your fiat and spot wallet. Okay? Saan pa kayo pwede mag-stake? Sa pancake swap. In pancake swap, you can do this on your trust wallet if you have it on your mobile phone. Okay? Sa pancake swap, uh, dito kayo pupunta sa pools. Okay? This is all, this is everything. Okay? Dito lahat, pwede, nyong, pwede kayo mag-stake dito sa lahat na to. Okay, right now, uh, naka-stake ako sa cake. Kasi gusto ko yung APR nila. Pa paano kayo makakapag-start dito? You have to connect to your any wallet listed here. Okay? Make sure you guys have extra BNB on Binance Smart Chain kasi yun ang gas fees. So, sa Ethereum network, ang gas fee is ERC20 is Ethereum. Sa Binance Smart Chain naman, BSC ang gas fee. Which is significantly lower than Ethereum. Okay? So, you can do Trust Wallet if you guys have MetaMask or Binance Chain. I suggest you guys use Trust Wallet, Metamask, or uh, Binance Chain Wallet kasi yun yung mga madadali lang. Okay? So, kapag meron na kayong cake sa inyong Trust Wallet, make sure you guys connect it. Ang pinili ko dito is Binance Smart Chain kasi meron akong Binance dito pero walang laman yan. 
you just have to click here uh, approve cake lagay nyo kung ano yung uh, lagay nyo kung ilang cake yung gusto nyo yung stick and then ayun na mag work na yun bahala na yun dyan i-keep nyo lang doon so pakita ko sa inyo yung sa akin so papakita ko sa inyo yung sa akin I have I think one or two one cake <laughs> kasi tinry ko lang to I have one cake um steak right now sa pancake swap okay so ito siya i don't know guys if you can see it okay so the rate is 136.84% so ang is this take ko is 1.594 cake so uh, naka earn na ako ng 0.74 cake uh, uh, kailangan ko na lang siya i-compound and then i harvest it pupunta na to doon sa inyong trust wallet okay and then after nung sa trust wallet, pwede nyo na ilagay sa Binance so you guys can withdraw it. So you guys can sell it. Or keep it, hold it. Something like that. Depende lang sa inyo yan. Okay? Alright, so what else? Of course, Cardano. Pag-uusapan din natin kung paano mag-stake sa Cardano. Okay? So you, pag nag-stake kayo sa Cardano, make sure you guys do it on the official wallet. You can also stake in Binance, but personally, not a financial advice. Use your Roy or Daedalus wallet since they are the official wallets. Your Roy for mobile, Daedalus for PC. Pero your Roy recently released a Chrome web extension na pwede nyo ilagay sa browser nyo for uh, ease of access. Pero prior to that, meron na talaga akong your Roy sa phone ko. Doon ako nag stake Medyo matagal na rin. So you guys create a your Roy wallet first. Okay. Click create. Ililink ko down below kung saan nyo pwede i-download yung uh, your Roy extension. Or you guys can just go to Play Store. Also, make sure you download the legit your Roy wallet. Okay, yung maraming download. Kasi meron akong nakita ang scam na app for your Roy. So, make sure you download the official one. I will also link it down below. Oh, okay, so you create your wallet. Make sure you do Cardano. Okay, after you are choosing that you put your wallet name and then your spending password and magbibigay na sa inyo ng uh, seed price i think it's 14 or 15 um words so kailangan yung i keep yun para save ang inyong funds all right so kapag nakapag-create na kayo ito na yung makikita nyo all okay? right so right now i have 7.285929 ada okay so buksan natin so at the moment, naka-stake ako, naka-delegate itong coins ko sa PHRCK staking pool. Okay? Itong PHRCK is a Philippine-based uh, stake pool. Uh, bilang suporta na rin sa ating mga Pinoy stake pool operators. So paano nyo yun gagawin? Pag uh, nandito kayo sa wallet nyo, sa dashboard, you guys click on delegation list. Okay? Sa delegation list, pwede kayong mamili ng mga stake pool na pag i stake nyo. Okay? So, makikita nyo rito sa stake pools, nandito yung ROA, ito yung APY. 3.89%. Bala na kayong mamili kung saan, pero bilang suporta na lang sa mga Pinoy stake pool operators, doon na kayong mag-stake. Okay? Um, meron akong alam na tatlong Pinoy stake pools. The first one is where I'm currently staked. It's called PHRCK. Okay? Uh, oops, mali. PHRCK. Alright, so it's 5.70%. Not bad, but not bad. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter, uh, join their uh, Telegram group, like them on Facebook. They also have a YouTube channel and also their website. Okay? Currently, grayed out kasi naka-delegate na ako sa kanila. But you guys can also do Yugto. Okay, 4.10, not bad. Okay. And the other one is AWPH atayo, cloud pool. Uh, yeah, this, this one. AWPH, 3.53%. And meron pa isang cloud pool. And CPH. Lahat yun, lahat ng apat na yun, uh, Philippine-based stake pool yun. So, tulungan na lang natin yung mga kapa natin, Pinoy stake pool operators. Okay. So, kiklik nyo lang dito, delegate, automatic, lahat ng coins nyo, madedelegate na yan. Okay? 
So for the rewards, here's how it works. Okay, you need to be initially you need to wait for twenty days to be approved. Okay, so one epoch, making a tawag tayong epoch. One epoch is uh, equals to five days. So twenty days is basically four epoch. And then once that's done, your first reward will be released or will be given to you after the next epoch. Okay, bali, first reward to ah, bali, 20 days, that's 4 epoch, plus 5 days, bali, 25 epoch. Uh, I mean, 5 epoch, makakakuha kayo ng first reward. And then, yung mga susunod na rewards nyo, matatanggap nyo yan every epoch, every 5 days. Okay? So, yun. And then, also, kapag nareceive nyo na yung rewards nyo sa inyong Euroy Wallet, huwag nyo i-click tong withdraw. Okay? Kasi kapag kinlik nyo tong withdraw, matcha it may charge kayo ng 0.17% uh, fee transfer fee from your rewards to your wallet. So bakit hindi niyo to i bakit hindi niyo i-click to? Kasi automatic itong rewards niyo is naka-stake na rin. Makita niyo 'di ba? Nakalagay dito to, total delegated is 72290. Pero ang nakalagay sa wallet natin is 7285. Okay? So i-withdraw niyo to kapag kontento na kayo sa rewards niyo para isang fee na lang, para sa isang transaction fee na lang. Okay? So, that's basically how it works for Cardano. Uh, madali lang naman. Diba? So, create muna kayo ng Euroy Wallet. Alagay nyo yung, alagay nyo yung Cardano nyo sa inyong Euroy Wallet. You go to the delegation list. Um, choose the stake pool where you want to uh, stake your Cardano. Again, support our fellow Pinoy stake pools. Okay? Uh, PHRCK, ADA, PH, um, CPH, that's Cloudpool, and Yugto. Yugto and PHRCK, they are both um, recognized by Input Output Hong Kong, uh, IOHK, and Charles Hoskinson, which is the founder of Cardano. Okay? Alright, now let's talk about Ethereum 2.0. So, sabi ko nga kanina, ang Ethereum 2.0, Bago pa lang siya. Hindi pa siya totally released. Pwede kayo mag-stake. But again, it will be locked there for unknown time. Unless fully rolled out na yung EIP-1559, the proof of stake, uh, the, the proof of stake Ethereum 2.0. Okay? Again, 32 ETH ang required. And then, sabi ko kanina, withdrawals won't be live right away. Okay? So, ito nasa sa inyo na to kung mag i stick kayo sa Ethereum or not. That's the downside. And also, we don't know if Ethereum switching to proof of stake will be a success or not. So, for now, I think the best place you guys um, can stake, where you guys can stake is Cardano, Yoroi. And um, here in Binance, you can do DOT. Uh, Sol, Solana, that's a very good project. Matic, that's also a good one. Okay? And of course, the Pancake Swap. Pwede, pwede kayo mag-stake dito. Now, if you guys are still confused, if you guys have questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below. Uh, sasagutin ko naman yan lahat. Um, um, as you, kapag napanood nyo yung mga video ko, you guys can check the comment section. Sumasagot naman ako sa mga comment uh, make sure you guys be wary of um scammers in the comment section na para so make sure be vigilant okay so make sure to like this video subscribe uh click nyo na rin yung notification bell so you guys are updated and kita kita tayo let's see the video that's it for me bye for now